After a pretty meh showing in terms of pressure uh, against the greasy, grimy Green Bay Packers, Minnesota fighting Vikings kicking the tires, lighting the fires. On some defensive line depth, uh, working out former Chicago Bear uh, Abdullah Anderson, as well as former Kansas City Chiefs second round pick and Super Bowl champion Breland Speaks, even though he didn't play at all last last year. And, and no, I, I don't think this is really an indictment on Daniel Hunter, or it's like, oh. He's going to miss more time. We need more bodies. I think it is more about how Jalen Holmes and Cheeseburger Eddie Arbro played on Sunday. I think it is. So uh, we'll talk about Abdul later, but I uh, want to talk about Breland Speaks because he's super interesting. And Spielman does this where uh, he is super intrigued by these guys who they probably had high draft grades on them and themselves. And also you can't really sleep on that draft pedigree. That speaks to you know Michael Floyd, uh, Andre Smith. Uh, the Vikings just bringing these cavalcade of former high draft picks, and Breland Speaks could be the next one of them. So let's talk about him today. Uh, so Breland, uh, 6'3", 285. Now, defensive end. End in actuality, but some places list him as defensive tackle. He's not really a defensive tackle. Like the Chiefs, uh, they never use him as defensive tackle. At Ole Miss, they sort of moved him all over the place. But yeah, at 24 years old. Former four-star recruit from Jackson, Mississippi, uh, decided to stay in state, inked up with Ole Miss. I mean, that's when Ole Miss was getting some dudes, man. Like we're talking about Kim DJ, we're talking about Treadwell, we're talking about Tunsil. Like there, there are some legit uh, prospects going to Hugh Freeze and Ole Miss. Yeah. Uh, breakout season was junior year in 2017, had 61 tackles, eight tackles for loss, seven sacks, and forced a fumble. And he kind of did it all. Played some edge, played some interior, played some linebacker as well. Uh, Ole Ole Miss uh, certainly wasn't shy about where they moved him around. Uh, Was great at at shedding blocks, uh, getting through trash, good balance, good nose for the football. And you're like, oh, that's super intriguing. Also from the combine. uh, So this spider chart is him compared against other defensive tackles, which... You know, uh, but love the explosion, the jumps, the 48740 is really solid for a defensive tackle, but he's basically like a diet James Lynch. Like he's not long and fast enough for a regular NFL edge rusher, not big enough for an every down NFL defensive tackle, just classic tweener, uh, classic brigade or sub package guy. And that does have a lot of value. Uh, so the Chiefs trade up. Uh, in the second round, up to 46 to take him in the second round of the 2018 draft. Uh, his rookie year played 552, uh, excuse me, 522 snaps for the Chiefs, including playoff games. Started four of said games. Uh, put up a 58.5 PFF grade, 24 tackles, a sack and a half, uh, forced a fumble, uh, mainly playing defensive end. A little bit of stand-up outside linebacker as well. Uh, 2019, uh, tore up his knee. Uh, tore up, MCL had some meniscus issues uh, in the second preseason game. A win on IR. And also, while he was I- on IR, he was suspended for uh, substance abuse. But, you know, he can't be suspended for we anymore. And also, I feel like if you get hurt in an NFL game, uh, you should be allowed to you know, partake. Yeah. You know, the pain management and the smoking of pain management is better than just getting shot up a Toradol or getting on some Oxy, but that, that's an argument for another day. Uh, was in camp with the Chiefs, part of their final cuts. I uh, did have a workout with the Seahawks. Now, is it the knee? It is potentially the knee. Like, is is it rehabbed and ready to go? Uh, there is some concern there. And also, if the Seahawks pass on a former highly drafted front seven guy, that, that does tell you a lot because they sign everyone. They really do. Uh, but uh, Breland, like we said, this is what happens when with free agents and sometimes that they'll get an extra stiff. Uh, maybe the Vikings had a very high uh, grade on Breland in uh, the 2018 draft. Maybe they saw him as a second-round talent. Maybe they would have uh, swung and taken him uh, if he had fallen to them uh, later on the second round if the Chiefs hadn't traded up. So uh, I mean, this is why all the scouting reports matter, all the work by area scouts, by Spielman, um, by the entire scouting department, including pro personnel scouting department, is that maybe they saw something nice out of Breland uh, in 2018 when he was with the Chiefs. Because uh, that all goes into the dossier, and when a player of his caliber and his high draft stats comes available, it's like, hmm, very intriguing. So uh, we'll see if anything comes of it um, every single week. Uh, generally in the NFL season, teams do work out players. Sometimes it's legit. Sometimes it's – well, you'll see – so if a team works out, uh, say, a bunch of wide receivers, they'll also bring in a quarterback, generally. So this isn't like, oh, Kirk Cousins on notice, Bob Gow. No, it's more, hey, we need someone to throw these receivers, and we don't really feel like having one of our players or a coach do it. So we want at natural. And also, it, it kills two birds with one stone because you actually get to see the quarterback work out, too. Maybe he impresses as well. But uh, with Breland, I mean, it is as a spot of need, 
because maybe a small percentage of it is about Daniil Worry, which, gosh, I hope not. I, again, I hope not. But it, it is the ineptitude and effectiveness of Jalen Holmes uh, and uh, Cheeseburger Eddie Arbro, that, that second tier, uh, the second level of de- uh, defensive end edge rushers. And maybe it is about... Uh, interior. Maybe the Vikings do see him uh, as interior pass rusher. Maybe that, that's what the plan is. Maybe uh, they're going to use him, uh, bring him on and use him like they did Afadi and Steve Wedley last year. Actually, defensive ends kicking inside, just getting some pressure on third downs. Who knows? Who really knows? But that knee has to check out first. And if they do, uh, they can go from there. Because, you know, Breland, uh, obviously things didn't work out with the Chiefs. Part injury, part probably his, uh, you know, getting suspended as well. Also, probably because the Chiefs are stirked. Right, but it, it does take a lot to part ways with a second round pick, so so early on. I, I think that's a you know big respect to Andy Reid and Brett Veach in, in that regard. But we'll see. Uh, the kid obviously has talent. He's obviously well regarded, and um, you know if that knee checks out, Vikings can go from there. Could certainly use him. Uh, your thoughts? Breland speaks works out for the Vikings. Uh, let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.